Jane Carrow, it's lovely to talk to you. That function this morning was terrific. Tell us about destroying the joint. Well, destroying the joint is really, people keep saying it's a movement, and it's starting to develop into one, but it didn't start that way. It simply started me on a Friday night, glass of wine in hand. <laughs> um, you know, thinking about what Alan Jones had said about women are destroying the joint, and hoping against hope that there wouldn't be a whole lot of outrage and, you know, defensive type of comments. And so I just suddenly thought, well, I'll do something. So I just sat there and tweeted. I um, got a bit of time on my hands on this Friday night. So I'm thinking of ways of destroying the joint, being a woman and all. Ideas welcome. <laughs> and it just took off, took off like wildfire. Uh, statements about women's roles and then give rise to the network known as destroy the joint. Uh, and I actually think uh, that network shows that uh, women are prepared to come together, women and men are prepared to come together in support of uh, a vision of women being treated as truly equal. I think women in the past have often felt very isolated. They've been the only woman in the meeting, the only woman in the department, the only woman on the station, the only woman on the panel, the only woman, you know, wherever. And. Um, on social media, they're not the only woman. Not only that, they're not the only woman who thinks and feels the way they do. They see these tweets coming in and they go, that's exactly what I think, I'm joining in. So I think, you know, out of the whole thing, uh, the message I take is more one of optimism about the degree of community support for equality uh, rather than one of pessimism about the, the shrill nature of a few voices in the public debate. Humour is often angry, but it's done in a constructive, funny, witty, connect human kind of way. And I think by starting by saying, let's turn this into a bit of fun and, and make it humorous and, you know, be a bit satirical, we were able to blow in a way that didn't make us feel nervous. Like, oh dear, have I gone too far? Well, beware the wrath of women, really. Um, and the destroy the joint for me, um, was incredibly powerful watching how it, how it sort of came and grew momentum was um, that instead of a term which was used to denigrate women, it actually turned into a, a, a phrase that empowered them, you know, and, you know, beware the wrath of women on social media. I think we've all seen very clearly what happens when women get together and men joined in as well through that. We have now entered an era, we're far from feminism as it was 10 years ago, being scorned and oh it's over and it's a radical, politically correct kind of a thing. Oh no, now feminism for right wing prime ministerial hopefuls has become the something black. you need to be. Whoa, <laughs> that's, that's the world rocking on its axis as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> that was what impressed me about that. Well, you must, we must be succeeding, Jane. Exactly. No, I think feminism is to finally starting Absolutely to win. Absolutely winning. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thanks for joining us on Pulse TV. It's been great fun. My pleasure, Catherine.